let me let me jump into my review here for for Medieval Dynasty: A New Beginning. Uh, not to be confused with the PC version, which is just Medieval Dynasty. This is definitely a VR spinoff of that game. Now, unlike say Sniper Elite VR where it's a really, really minimized version of the core experience that was almost like open world maps. Medieval Dynasty, A New Beginning on the Quest, is definitely trying to deliver the same experience, uh, though it it doesn't, uh, it's not quite as massive in its scope, and I'll get into that. Now, for those of you who are wondering what type of game this is, it's definitely kind of a... Uh, settlement management crafting survival game uh my closest comparison to this game would be a township fail i mean a township tale uh-huh. and this is a single player experience my, the, the pc version is a co-op experience and this is very much not that and i would say it definitely hurts it's hurting because of that just in the fact that like a lot of the things that you do in the game world are very simple and mundane. Like it's trying to, I guess, just feel like what it would be to be a day-to-day -day villager in this old society and having friends along with you just to like goof around and throw things at you might've like spiced things up. If you guys have followed the channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of survival games, crafting games. I like the grind. Uh, I have no problem, you know, making up my own fun. But the problem I have with medieval dynasty, a new beginning is that I find the whole process just very simple and very tedious. Now, starting out, all the missions, like every single mission, whether they're side missions, but mainly all the main quest missions, are they all feel like tutorial missions in some ways. And I'm sure the game's going to open up, but I'm three hours in, and I'm still just like meeting townspeople that show me how to like make pottery or make a spear or make a bow or make a potion or build a house, or cut a tree, or drink water, you know, and, and these interactions with each of these characters is super generic, and that's one of my problems with the game, is that it's just, it, I never, I never felt like I was living my medieval dynasty uh, experience, I felt like I was playing a really, really dumbed down PS2 era RPG, like, and, I don't mean that just from a visual standpoint, but I'm getting it in the graphics. But from a gameplay standpoint of view, like not not the systems in which uh, in the VR systems, which I actually really like, but just from the walking up to the person, you look at the person, you wave at person, maybe they notice you're waving at them. That's a huge frustration. And I was just like, what is going like? It's just it's such a it's such a broken system. I'm sitting there like waving at them looking down trying to get in their faces so it's hit or miss with that and then you get this really they go hello and then you get to read the dialogue like it's like an nes game and, and then Old you school the, and the voice acting is like barely it's barely there and the music itself is super repetitive it's okay but it's like two songs there's like the nighttime dun, 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 song and then there's the daytime song that's about it for music um i get it quest small memory whatever but it's it's very distracting when it comes to um the entire immersion of being out in this open world i found that the open world sound effects are serviceable but i digress getting back to this main gameplay you start out and that's and you're just going through the tutorial stages for hours and it's very much back and forth fetch quests fetch quests the game has a basic uh upgrade tree system as far as like skills goes these seem to be doled out to you as you gain um their, the game's form of xp which is pretty much reputation i guess in the town and uh and that seems to be kind of like how the game flows out the 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 main objective of the game really seems to be grow your town like not your town so your homestead so it's like build a house build a hunting lodge build a wood lodge you know and then stay hydrated, eat. Um, those are also pretty easy to maintain. Like you're constantly having to deal with them, but like literally you could just eat berries and mushrooms. I ate everything I found. Nothing made me sick. I ate raw meat, didn't make me sick. So I was kind of like, why? The only reason I would even investigate further into the game's crafting systems to make uh, stews and, and, and different type of recipes is just so that I didn't have to like, you know, worry as much 
as far as like eating bushes as I went by, but whatever. It gave me something to do because that's another problem is that the game world is open, but it's boring. There's nothing. I mean, you might run into some people like, kill this bear for me. Okay. That's about the extent of like, I mean, it's boring that the world does not feel alive. Yes, there's it's it's inhabited, but not by anything that feels like real. It's like, oh, there's a bunny. It's like they feel like they just dropped in animals and stuff. And it's just this just the whole world feels very generic and undercooked. And it's not that big. You look at the map. It's like, oh, it's like a nice big map. No, it's not. And the map doesn't have a lot of diversity to it. Um, not really. It's got hills and it's got rivers and and it has homesteads and stuff that you'll come across. But I want to get back to the one thing, though, that I did enjoy about this game is that is some of its its VR systems are on point, which is amazing considering it is a port of a VR of a flat game and they could have phoned it in with a lot of X buttons and a lot of a lot of just like hit this button. And they've done a really nice job of kind of blending uh, a sense of simulation and arcadey. Whereas I think mm. Township Tail went hard on the sim side and then just like also wanted you to figure it out with like pretty much no tutorials. This game still kind of wants you to figure it out a little bit, but it's intuitive. If it was, you need a spear to go hunting and that was in the, and that would be in like the quest. So I would click on the quest that said you need a spear. It would automatically flip the page in the book because everything's coming from this book. And it would automatically flip to the recipe of how to build a spear. And you would click on it, and then bloop, uh, the light, like a lighted spear would appear in front of you, and it would say, "Throw two sticks and a stone in there." So you do that, and it did it. I mean, everything was very thought well out. Like you have a backpack, you have holsters on your hands, all your health is on your wrist, and your book is all your map and missions and recipes. It's all very simply laid out. Everything is easy. boring. Oh, sorry. Yes, but easy. You know, you, you want to build a house. It's like the, the the crafting systems are very undercooked. They're very basic. Build a house. Okay, so you choose build a house. You you take it till it's green. You drop your house. You go up to the individual walls on the house, and it says this, you know, choose your wall type. So you're like, okay, you know, you know wood, um, thatch, whatever. And then it's like, okay, you need like three of this and five of that. So you make sure you have it. You kind of throw those things at the wall. You get a hammer, you hammer it, bang, 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 those three things drop off, wall's built. Talking about the visuals for a minute, I found that the Quest version is ugly. It's ugly. I was going to say, it actually doesn't look bad in the footage I'm seeing. It doesn't look amazing. It looks but okay. For the Quest, the it looks like it's a pretty large scale, well, like outdoor environment it, it and doesn't, stuff. It doesn't, yeah, it does. It doesn't seem like it's getting any Quest 3 enhancements. And it's got a little bit of lighting here and there. But it feels very, very questy. And what you don't see in social screens, and we all know this, is you don't see the fact that it's got the jagged edges. You don't see that it has a pretty aggressive foveated rendering, like where um, it's actually more of a top bottom and a distance thing is where it's rendering. And I was saying to Ryan earlier, it's got this weird thing where there's like you can see blurs on the lower part of the screen, but it almost comes in like lines. It's not just clear and then blurry. It's like clear, blurry, clear, blurry, and then blurry all the way. Yeah. And and it's kind of distracting. Uh, I mean, anything eight feet, ten feet out, the 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 detail just drops right off. Pop in is horrible. Like trees just. Bloop, 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 bloop. I mean, even your entire you walk into your area. I'm like, I know my house is here. I know I built a house here. And all of a sudden, bling, there's your house. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, it just it's just all these things just distract from the immersion i saw some reviews on the quest thing uh quest app there where people are like this game is so immersive i feel like i'm i feel like i'm living out the the experience of an early settler and i'm like okay i, I never felt threatened in this game mm -hmm. um, yeah there's a bear there's some wolves that might get you at night but and i mean i hear there's some combat later on but everything's just so undercooked and basic and to me like in an open world game when it's that generic and bland looking, I don't want to be in it. I don't want to be in this world. It's not enjoyable. And if you're someone who just wants to go through all your checklist of things to do and like get your upgrades, like, oh, I can now run a little bit easier. I can carry a little bit more stuff because obviously you can be overweighted. But there's just nothing. There's no goal at the end other than to grow your your homestead and increase your reputation in the village. I don't, I never wanted to get to know people. There was never a mystery. There was never, uh, any kind of an antagonist. Um, 
I mean, I would rather play Song of the Smoke. I would rather play... Um, I'm talking about quest stuff, but I would rather play Song of the Smoke. I would rather play Green Hell. They're all way more captivating games. Um, they're all... They just feel like they got their hooks in me. This game, it's too mundane. It's too generic. And that's the biggest thing. I don't care. It's not. It's not fun. There's no, you know what it is? I guess other than just checking off missions, there's no carrot on the stick. Right. Uh, and and again, you're doing this all in a world that just like screams, just like, uh, should not be running on this headset. Yeah.